think he's hung up or something. I don't know. So if you see something happening on the river, what kinds of things are going through your head as you're getting ready to respond? Well, I want to make sure that we've got some uh, command set up so that people are thinking about what they're going to be doing. I'm going to try to read the river, find out if there's any hazards uh, upstream, downstream, and have the right equipment and be ready to uh, act without getting somebody else in danger. I think first off, um, working with these guys, they're all pretty much independent for one. And the mentality of they have to be responsible. It's just they're kind of the look-to person in a lot of the situations. So what I wanted to work on this class and actually learn out of this class is there are personal limitations that they have to deal with. You can't always be the guy that gets in the water, that does the work, and it's going to come out successful. Wardens by nature are pretty much type A personalities. They want to get the job done, they're going to do it, they're going to get in, they're going to make it happen but I don't want to lose any wardens doing this either. It's got to be a safety aspect. And thinking about it's one thing, and with this class, we talk about it, but we actually do it. Guys get in the water, guys feel what this current can do. Limitations on what type of equipment they have at the scene. Everybody's going to be yelling at them to do something, and they're going to be looked to. And that feeling of, I'm the one that has to go in the water, I'm the one that has to go pull this guy out. They need to stop and think, and make sure they're not a victim trying to save somebody else who already got themselves in that situation.